Welcome back to another episode of Worship Tech Booth Makeover. And boy, oh boy, do we have a ton of upgrades to show you guys today. Maybe maybe more just a ton of rearranging. That's really it. But, but a, some cool upgrades. So we've got our video broadcast table that you see right here. We've got Stream Deck galore. And then we've got Screen Share galore and Multiview Bonanza. So, <laughs> right. So the here, terms. here to bring us on the tour is is uh you guys have seen him. He's a regular on the show here. Aaron, the worship pastor, here at South Fellowship. So Aaron, let's talk about um well let's talk about this table here. What what all is happening? Yeah, this is a cheap portable eight foot table with lots of smiley faces drawn on it. Um, no, this is temporary. We're just trying to see how we like the form factor, but we've basically taken several positions that were at the front counter and we moved them back here just to create more space. But one of the things we learned real quick in the midst of that process is when you separate workflows from the front to the back, you start to lose like connection to certain elements. So that's why we have so many monitors. We like, um, you, as, you, as you've seen, what would you call it? Like multi-view bonanza? Multi-view bonanza. So this is this is to explain kind of, did we say what this back table was for yet? This back table is basically for broadcast. Broadcast. This so, is our broadcast mm -hmm. central table. And then the front table, the front counter is essentially front of house or live in-person service. Yep. So we've stuff. got, we've got lighting with light key. You guys have seen that. We've got front of house mixing the wing. And then we've got um, pro presenter. And that's just a multi-view so they can see what's going on. Then back here, we've got... Broadcast audio. Yep, with Ableton. You guys mm -hmm. have seen that setup. So really identical setup I showed in a previous episode. I did add in this um, uh, Aturia touch, whatever. I, Aturia MIDI, MIDI controller. controller. I can't remember what it's called. And then we've got... Um, the iPad's not here right the now. The iPad. What, did I take it somewhere? I must have took the iPad. So, yeah, oh, I so did. I, did. I took the iPad, but we have... The Touchable app, I'll probably make another video about that. It's a really cool app to control Ableton Live um, in our, for our broadcast mix. So we got the iPad there, and then now we have a multi-view. So now as a broadcast audio guy, previously it was up there on the front of the tech booth, but now um, I have my dual screens, and then I can also see our multi-view so I can see what's going on with uh, preview and program and all the different cameras. So it is a great setup. Yep. And then over here, talk us through the video director. Yeah, and then the video directing position is essentially, I mean, video switching position. They've got a broadcast audio as well so that they can be a second uh, second set of ears to make sure everything's sounding good. And so they got a set of headphones for, for themselves. And then they've got the normal switching station. Um, you've got multi-view here. And then you've got um, your normal switching software here. But we've also added the Stream Deck because one of the things we use a lot here at South is we use macros quite a bit so that we can perform multiple tasks very efficiently, bring the right keyers in, change from Luma keys to pattern keys and back and all of that sort of thing. This thing allows us to do that really efficiently without having to change screens and stuff on our ATEM switch software. Another thing that we noticed is because we separated it here, like when you're video switching, especially during the sermon, like if you, you want to sort of be able to anticipate the preacher's slides and make sure that you're pulling them into the broadcast at appropriate time. So we're like, ah, oh, we're disconnected from pro presenter, which is up there at the front counter. So we added a, a little trigger here into the stream deck that allows us to do screen sharing. And I, with one button press, it pulls up screen sharing and, and connects and logs straight into a screen share of that front computer and then shuts off mouse control for screen sharing, so it's just view only. Yep. So now I can monitor whatever the front uh, lyric person is controlling. So yeah. Can... So that monitor, that monitor he pulled screen share is just a secondary display for the little laptop. Yep. Running ATEM. And so it's and we don't have to run like a secondary monitor all all the way from that one there because we're just using network screen share. Yep. To to see it because we don't have to have super high res, but. And it's nice. So that, that's a good segue to all the screen sharing we're doing. Basically, we set it up so now all these computers, no matter what station you're at, you can control 
Like if I'm back here at Ableton, I can easily hop on. Oh, yeah. Aaron will show you. Just so swipe check this out. Just so swipe you just over. Got, yeah. So there's Pro Presenter. There's Pro Presenter, and it's actually totally a screen share, and he actually can come up so, here. So look, you guys can see. It's just magical. He's he's altering Pro Presenter right there, and you can see on the front booth, it's he's like clicking around. So it's really cool because especially if a volunteer on Pro Presenter is like, hey, something's weird in Pro Presenter, Jake, I need help. Now I don't have to walk five feet forward to help them. I can just take over their computer right there. You realize that sounds like the most, the ultimate first it's, world problem. It's amazing. And then, <laughs> and then they got light key, show them, show them the other. So now he can alter the room. I can control room lights from here with light key. So I don't know. Screen share is like such a simple thing, but it still kind of makes me feel really powerful every time I use it. So. Yep. And I think the other thing that's, that you add between screen sharing and the stream deck, because I'm able to trigger multiple actions, I'm able to save a screen share profile to here. So you can literally see this button says pro presenter screen share. And it actually loads the profile, logs into the right account for the right computer, and then goes full screen all yep. with one button press. And then if I want lighting computer, I've got light key right here, same thing. This one, lighting, the lighting computer is currently not connected right now. And so all I have to do is press this button, you'll see it, Log in and Dude. boom, now I'm in like key. Wow, I didn't even see that yet. Some of this stuff Aaron set up already, I didn't even like, I didn't even see some of this stuff. I was really impressed with that. The stream deck has blown, I, I'm blown away by the stream deck. Cause before I kind of thought, oh, it's cool. You can like do video switching with it, stuff like that. Um, which is still kind of a, a game changer for us to have that tactile, you know, way to preview or hit program on, on different angles. Absolutely. But all of the the MIDI automation you're doing kind of th from the stream deck or the Yeah, which I can app. show you a couple more things that we're doing. Yeah. Like and so just if you're going to try and duplicate this, you I'm actually using two different pieces of software to control the stream deck. One is the native software that comes with stream deck and then the other one's the companion software and I'm actually layering both of them on top of each other so that I can perform tasks that I need to perform. The nice thing is any of our stations, we actually picked up another one of these that's in the mail. Um, any of our stations, we have redundant backup. So like I could video switch from up there yep. or I could run lights from here. Yeah, because we've got another stream deck right here by the pro presenter operator. With which lighting is, commands. You, yeah, and by default, it's set to control uh, light key. So then someone could be a pro presenter and they're like, hey, I want to change a lighting scene. Um, and then it's cool. Like you said, you can video switch and you got your multi view right next to you now. Yep. So now I just go hit more and I pull up my, my, my ATEM switch profile and yep. boom, I'm into switching. And, and this is, uh, this is my macro screen, but I can go up to camp like cutting. Yeah. And there you go. I'm actually switching. I'm actually controlling the computer back there technically, but or I, I know I'm actually tied in straight to the IP address. Okay, of the straight switch. to the switcher. Okay. And I've saved a little button here. Let's say I need to go back to our lighting scene. Boom, change his profile, and I'm back to controlling lights. Okay, so it's like you have different banks in the stream deck that have different buttons. Okay. Yep. That's cool. You so, got Spotify. Yep. And I can do, and I've created different scenes here. So, like, this one's a slow, like, this is the preview screen. So, if I want to, like, preview a, a one and then hit the auto button so I can fade slowly in between cameras, yeah. I can do that. Yep. Or I can do a faster cutting scene, which is, like, just a straight cut, hard cuts. Or I can go back to my macros, which is, which is powerful because it brings in, like, our lower thirds and all of that yep. using macros. The much asked about lower thirds and pro presenter we gonna make another video about that yeah Aaron, the other thing it does oh. is it, it we're also tying straight into our stream deck no not stream deck hyper deck and so this button here oh yeah that's cool So if i hit this boom it goes red i know that i'm recording the service over there on the hyper deck yep and then i can pop back out and control which lights. the hyper deck guys records the program to an sd card so it's pretty pretty cool Yep. To, to be able to control that from the stream And it deck all is well. a dynamic, so it actually shows that it's red when it's recording. Yep. And it's green when it's not. Yep. It's brilliant. Uh, and then props. Talk about props. Remember, that was the oh, other yeah. breakthrough we had. Gosh, I feel like props is like one of the undersold elements of ProPresenter. Um, rather than using, like, for countdown timers, we, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm a newbie to this or something, but we, we used to use timers and then display messages with like time timers in them. 
in order to do countdowns, or we'd bring in a countdown video of some sort. Well, because we have two services now, instead of using timers here um, and then displaying them using a message, we just built a props layer right here. And then a props layer is basically like a pr any presentation that you want available to you at any given time. So I have a first service prop, and this, this particular first service one is, is tied to our first service countdown. And then I have a second service prop, and it's connected to our second service. So when I want um, my, my Lyric folks, whenever they're ready to, to start the service, they just trigger this props layer, and you can see it pull right up here. And we're counting down till 9 a.m. next tomorrow, frankly. Yep. And then um, when I want and then second you put service. It, and boom. then you have it on the stream deck, too. Yep. And if you see, I don't know if I put it on this one yet. Um, Is it the back stream no, deck? No, it's not. It's on the back stream deck. Yeah. Because that's actually more important. Um, so back here on this stream deck, I've got here, you can see I can trigger a props layer. Yeah. Oh, I don't have MIDI connected right now. Oh, so yeah. So we're using just the built-in um, Apple MIDI networking app. Um, and that's an important step with like making sure all that stuff is fired up um, yep. every time. Oh, it's funny. You were looking at the app on that other computer. Yeah, exactly. Not, not this one. <laughs> so yeah, you have, to, you have to make sure that all the computers are talking to each other in the beginning of the service. And that's not a big deal once it's all set up. We're also looking to switch to a different MIDI software that Adam, you guys know Adam from different videos, he's recommending that because it'll actually uh, be a little bit more, yeah, boom. Boom, yeah, it, be, I'm be surprised, we actually haven't had any glitches really it seems like with it, but it actually, boom seems like it, it automatically reconnects better. Like if yeah. the computer's on, like where the Apple built-in software kind of like disconnects and then you have to reconnect it. Um, exactly. It's been stable when it's connected, it hasn't failed on us in a service yet, but. I've had history, bad history with that. Like so, if things you know. go, if the computers go to sleep or anything, that's when you lose MIDI connection sometimes. Yep. Um, I also have installed a little, a little application called Amphetamines on all of our computers. And they're, all, they're set to basically not allow the computers to go to sleep from 6 a.m. till 1 p.m. on Sunday mornings. Yep. And um, that just auto fires and it, it keeps the computers on, make sure that MIDI is stable through that entire window of, time that we have services yeah yeah sweet and so, then i can control and like these little stream decks are great because you can essentially control any of the computers between screen sharing and or the screen stream deck i can control any of the computers uh, from any of the locations yep like uh, last week we had a women's ministry event where they had a panel and we were live streaming and all this stuff and i was a one-man show i was mm -hmm. able to be back here and I could like run sound with an iPad app. I could run uh, lyrics and lights and center screen and all of this stuff using different tools like that. Um, one yeah. man band. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty incredible what we could do now, especially with the stream deck. If we just move it over here, we'll probably get another one for this station, but I could like cut video, do some mix audio for broadcast pretty much as one person. It would be hard, but like, I mean, you have to be really on the game. It is, but, like, because you got the ATEM software here, too, if you yeah. want to do that. Yeah. And then uh, maybe another video would be, like, different training that we've done for Oh, yeah, standard operating like procedures. Yeah, we should make a separate video about that. And then uh, we did move this camera back here, so we kind of – we're going to have, like, a back of the room wider shot. Um, this camera was kind of up, up to the side of the room by one of those pillars, and it was, like, one of those shots that felt like – it wasn't wide enough. Oops. Sorry. It felt like it wasn't wide enough and it wasn't tight enough. So here, um, you know, we could put a wider lens on this, but I like this. It kind of gets enough of the congregation. And uh, if, we, if we, we, the plans are to put, put this on a slider so we could actually have a nice shot, it would look kind of like this. Um, again, I don't know. The slider might look better with the tighter lens yeah. anyway. So. That's it, guys. I mean, I, I don't think I can think. I mean, there's probably we're probably forgetting something, um, but um, that's it for our major upgrades so far. So this is a big step. This table, like Aaron said, is kind of temporary. Um, we're gonna see how we like this, and then maybe someday in the next few months we'll buy, we'll build a more permanent uh, actual table structure here. Yeah. Anything else? 
I think that's that's the majority that's of it. it. I don't know. My you, brain is full. You guys know the drill. Um, go ahead, hit the like button if you found this video helpful, informative, entertaining, inspiring. Um, and also subscribe to the channel. Check out the links below. If you want to build these systems, like these are the exact things that we cover within Worship Ministry School. And some of them, I need to... Uh, we need to make a Stream Deck uh, Ninja course that you can you can develop, Aaron, <laughs> with all the Stream Deck stuff. But you know the broadcast setup stuff, the video stuff, mixing, uh, Pro Presenter, Likey. We cover it all. So check it out. Hop on a strategy session uh, with one of our coaches, and we'll talk to you soon.